very small compressibility compressibility is very small what else what else can be divided as what what else about solids that you feel makes them stand apart from the fluids Now, viscosity we do not use for solids. <coughs> there we use viscosity is the resistance that one layer gives to the other when when the things are trying to flow. Okay. Hmm. No, viscosity will be very high. Viscosity will be very high. More viscous liquid is is lesser is the lesser is its tendency to flow so honey is more viscous than water which is more viscous than kerosene maybe more viscous than gases so it is rigid it is it is this what else anything else that comes to your mind solids How about its density compared to others? Since it is so closely packed, it is dense, very dense. Okay, so high density compared to fluids. <coughs> then what about its maybe the melting or boiling points? It's Okay, so, so, so now now they are all all already more molten. So, but it has high boiling point. If you, if you say high boiling point, it has high boiling point. Okay. Nice. Already vaporized compared to liquid. It's already vaporized. Hmm? Hmm. What else? The other thing is when you heat it, they are so tightly bound. They are so tightly bound that if you start heating them, if you start heating them, they'll they'll try to move this way, but but this pull will pull it back. This will pull it back. So what happens? They they try to move away, but the, the respective pulls actually do not let it go away. What happens in a in a in a liquid? You must have seen liquid being heated. You have seen liquid being heated. What happens then? What happens then? You must have seen some small strands of water flowing like that inside the water. If you if you watch very carefully, what is that? Those are the hot water molecules that are actually moving up, and their place is being taken by by the heavier, cooler molecules. This is the heating by convection. This is how it gets heated, right? In a gas, in a gas, if it is, if there is a container that contains gas, then you must have studied in class eleventh what happens. The pressure is due to the velocity at which they strike the walls. Hmm? Do you remember that? P is equal to one by three n m v bar square. This is what. What is the? This is the pressure. 
where n is the number of molecules per unit volume, m is mass of one of the molecules, v bar is the velocity. Now, the faster it hits the wall and rebounds, more is the force it generates. So, if you start heating it, the, the, the particles they start moving very fast, okay. They move very, very fast and, and that, that is how it goes. But if you heat a solid, the particles do not start moving suddenly. Okay. They will move later when we when they liquefy, they start following the property of liquid and then the gas. But before they have liquefied, they just cannot start flowing because otherwise it will become a fluid. So, what happens? The particles, particles they actually oscillate at their position in any direction, right? So, so they oscillate like this. So, on heating. On heating, the particles oscillate about their mean position, oscillate about their mean position. The particles oscillate about their mean position. Okay. Oscillation means there is a mean position. And if the oscillation is very fast, it be, we call it vibration. So, so it starts oscillating at a very, very high speed. As you start increasing the temperature, when this oscillation amplitude becomes high, at a point comes where it breaks. It breaks and that is the point where the, it starts getting converted into the liquid. Okay. So, so these are the characteristic properties of solids that make them stand apart from the viewpoint of even chemistry so that they have absolutely different properties as compared to the liquids or gases.